On this extremely quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can transpose or basically change the pitch of any element in your track. So I have this one sample pulled up. It's an F minor, as you can see there. So I'm going to play it. All right. Now let's say I'm doing a song in G minor. Here's how I can pitch it up two half steps or one full step. So I'm going to click it. I'm going to make sure it's first warped like so. That way it stays within the right BPM because if I do it here, as you can see, it gets smaller or bigger, which is not what I want. So I'm warped beyond. Typically, I put it on Complex Pro. I find that's the best when you're adjusting the pitch of something. And as you can see here, I have transpose. Now it goes up by a semitone. So 12 semitones is equal to one octave. So I would suggest maybe having a piano in front of you in case you're trying to get into music theory and trying to understand it. So if I'm in F minor, for example, I have to go up two semitones, or I like to say two half steps, or one full step. So I'm gonna go up one to F sharp, and then two to G sharp. So now when I play it, as opposed to, right? Now, as you can tell, a lot of times when you transpose a sample, there might be some weird things that happen with it. So as you can hear, or let's say if I had to go up, like say one complete octave, right? Kind of a bit chipmunky. So what I can do here, and this is very important, is to mess with the formants and the envelope, specifically the formants. So let's say, again, I'm doing a song in G minor, but I want to use this sample. I pitch it up too. And now I can use remove the formants. Sounds a little bit better. A lot of times I find this is something of just kind of messing around, seeing what works, what doesn't, and what sounds the best. Because sometimes I might want, let's say if I pitch up to eight, for example. Sometimes I might want the chipmunky sound, so I could do this. That might be what I want. So messing around the formants can adjust a lot in the envelope as well. Kind of odd and creepy, but that might work actually for going lower. So let's say I'm in F minor and I want to go to D. That means I have to go F, E, D sharp, D. That's three, right? One, two, three. So I'm going to go down to three. Let's say I'm doing it in D minor. And then if I do this. So you can see when I add the envelope full on, it sounds a bit odd, but I find, and then if I want to go super low, like say I'm doing like a, almost like a deep house song or even like a hip hop record, could add that in.